Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I do all things crafty on a budget and I would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and what I have for you today is a Dollar Tree DIY teacher gift so with all that being said let's jump right into today's DIY. So to start off, now I'm going to show you guys how quick and easy it is to use your Cricut Joy and use Cricut Design Space on your phone. So from my phone, I go to Cricut Design Space and I open up a new project. Down at the bottom, I then click text. I figure out which font I want. Now creating words for beginners is the easiest thing you're going to do or like you know labels for anything and I thought that this would be a perfect teacher's gift because let's just be honest our kids are going back to school we don't have very much time and the quicker the better and what is more heartfelt than a handmade gift so anyway once I have the font um, that I like in design space and the lettering that I liked I added that in and then I also measured my sign and sized this down. So you're going to click edit and then put in your height and width. And then I thought that it was missing a little something. So I did go into um, design space. There's hundreds and hundreds of images and I just added hearts on either side. I then saved my project just in case and once I am done DIYing our little pencil holder then I will go back into design space and print that out. So for the main part of the project I take one of these arrows from Dollar Tree. I take that hanger off as well as cut the little tips off of the arrow. I then take a pen holder from Dollar Tree and I spray paint that black. Now once, or while that was drying, I should say, I go in with my sanding sponge and I just sand all of those edges smooth, making sure that all of the corners are nice and rounded because on a real pencil, you don't have real sharp edges like there was on this little wooden sign. I then drew a little um, pencil tip at the top as well as taped off the bottom for the eraser and then I just went on, like zigzagged across where the like triangular part meets the rectangular part if that makes sense. Next I go in with my bubblegum acrylic Waverly paint. Yes, that's a thing. It is in the paint section at Walmart and I just paint that eraser. Now while that eraser is drying, then I use my Cashew Waverly chalk paint and I fill in the part where it's kind of like the part that holds in the lead. I don't even know what you want to call that, but I paint that top part with the Cashew. I paint the lead with my ink Waverly chalk paint and then once that eraser was dry I taped it off right above the eraser and then the other side and painted that part silver. Once the silver was dry then I go in with my yellow chalk paint and I paint the rest of the pencil with the yellow. Now to give this a little design and character in the corner of the eraser part I just draw little black lines and then put a yellow dot in the middle and then I glue it down with some hot glue to our pencil holder. Next I take some jute at the bottom. Now I do recommend to wait on this step until you've put your vinyl down but of course I didn't think of that so I put mine on and I just kind of worked around it when the time came but I do just wrap it around a few times and then tie a simple little bow. Now to cut our image out, I go back to my phone into design space and I click make it. Next, I follow the prompts on the screen. It will ask me what type of vinyl that I'm using. So I select the correct vinyl and then it'll tell me to load my material into the machine and it will check if I have the right size. Then all there is to cut it all there is left is to cut it out 
weed it and apply it to our piece and i just wanted to tell you guys my favorite features of the cricut joy it is really quick for such a small machine it's compact so you can bring it with you anywhere you want to go if you're going to your mom's or your sister's or whatever and you want to bring your machine and cut something for them or whatever the case may be it's really really easy to travel with I also like the fact that you can use smart materials with it so that way you don't have to use a mat and it just kind of becomes a pain when a mat is involved because if you have a huge image then you have to switch mats every so often with the smart material you're able to cut up to 20 feet which is absolutely amazing. I love that feature. That's literally my favorite feature. So once my image was done being cut out, then I take it to my light pad because sometimes I have a hard time seeing where I need to weed out the pieces. So with this portable light pad, you just lay your vinyl on once your image is cut and then you can easily see all the pieces that you need to weed out. So that is what I do. I go ahead and weed all of the pieces out and then I use my transfer tape to put this onto our little pencil. So here you can see why I said to wait to put your jute on. I kept trying to push that jute to the side and it just didn't want to cooperate too well. So definitely hold off on that step till the end. But of course I did make it work. I laid down my vinyl or my transfer tape I should say. I smoothed it out and then when I pulled back that transfer tape I was left with a beautiful project that I created myself for just two bucks and any teacher would be so excited to receive. So I want to thank Cricut again for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. I know that I'm a little late because a lot of places are already in school but our district doesn't start until September 8th. So anyway, I hope this helped one of you guys out. Let me know in the comments down below what you got out of this project. And with all that being said, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.